Right, I think I'm on here. Yep, how you doing guys? Two seconds, just bear with me a wee minute. Yeah, we look see. I know there's people there, just if you can bear with me just a wee minute. Right. Not a chance to see what has been happening today, so. So, what am I talking about here tonight? Something that I've spoken about many times before, as usual. These fucking insecure dickweeds that are running about the social media networks, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever it is, these, I mean, sorry, hang on. Before I forget. Right. So, what I've been thinking about recently is I say a lot of these things and I just say them flippantly or in passing because I know my experience and my understanding of these things, you know, and I have to be, you know, remind myself that there's many people who are new to this or maybe they've not figured out what's actually going on yet. So, sometimes I feel as if I should break it down a wee bit and explain exactly what what I'm talking about. Um, the usual stuff um, for anybody new that's listening. Flat Earth, you know, I'm going to keep repeating this. Nobody has the right to define what Flat Earth means. Um, there are so many assumptions to what Flat Earth means. It's just another part of the mess that we are in. Flat Earth here simply means an ongoing investigation into the full dimensions of the reality that we're experiencing right now. Um, it does not mean a pizza pan fucking dish. It does not mean a flat disc flying about the vacuum of fucking space. The vacuum of space and all that jazz um, comes from the globe cult. It comes from the priests of the globe cult and its disciples who are followers within the globe cult. They are the ones who push that fucking shit. Um, that is not what goes on here. We, you know, understand that there has been huge lies told in regards to where we live. The globe does not match observed reality. It only exists as cartoon form in books and in written text. It is a religion. It is the exact same as any other religion. It has a sacred fucking symbol and never-ending books of fucking text, right? And millions of fucking derpy disciples repeating it, thinking that they understand it and they know that it's fucking true, when it's no fucking true. Right. So. Um, I'm just on the door. I'm fucking running about. I lost the point of what I was going to say there. Um, no. Any manipulation, any of these types of cults, are going to have methods to try and suppress people. Um, this one in particular, this globe, globe cult, is huge. It has huge resources. It has huge access to personnel. Now, for me, a lot of these personnel, when I look at them and I assess them myself, um, quite a lot of them are fucking criminal. Criminal type minds. They have probably been profiled for seedy, fucking dirty crimes. The majority of them, quite a few of them anyway, um, and have been put to use. I'm not suggesting that every single one of these people are on the payroll. Nah, there's many of them that don't need to be on the payroll. They would just rather perform these tasks than be fucking outed. So, the reason that I got onto this again um, is because I've seen that Will Fobian. Um, reporting that his hangout got sniped. I got up this morning before I left quick and I seen Jamie Brown was going on about somebody putting porn at the end of his hangout or whatever went on. Now, these things have been going on for a long time. Um, one of the main protagonists of this shit was your man, Timmy Osman. 
and his fucking derpy, insecure crew, right? These characters, they are probably trained, they are trained on how to argue, trained in rhetoric, grammar, logic. Um, not that they fucking employ any logic, they just know how to argue, they know how to speak in a certain tone, they know how to try and antagonise and trigger you, right? They know that the porn thing is a big fucking issue, so they're just going to use it. My suggestion is that you just laugh at them, right? They are insecure fucking morons, they don't have a fucking clue. Dale the dumbass lie, liar scam artist, here we go, this is one of them in the chat. Leave their fucking shit in there and let the world fucking our end else that's watching see how fucking pathetic and weak they actually are. Just leave it there. Fuck them. This is all they have, people. You know, I see people getting upset and angry about this, and I'm a wee bit pissed off the new, but um, only because, you know, I feel as if it's appropriate. Because they need a wee taste of that noon again to remind them that they can try whatever the fuck they like. Nobody's going away. These clowns are too fucking stupid to realise that they are being used as some sort of resistance. They're not trying to fucking hide the fact that the globe's utter bollocks cartoon nonsense. Right? They're trying to release it. For me, they're trying to release it, but bring about a new deception. And these fucking idiots that fucking Timmy Osman and the likes don't have a fucking clue. Their brain's not working right. They're fucking morons. They're probably only interested in fucking pulling their cell off, poking their ass and eating chips and playing the PlayStation. They're fucking demented. They don't have a life beyond this. Sad cunts is what they are. So I'll calm down in a wee minute and get through some of their fucking methods. Now again, as I've been saying for the for the very off, you know, because I've seen this happening, I've seen this on, on Facebook in particular. There was this group who called themselves the Badger Group. Many of the accounts are still there. And by the way, I'm just going to fucking start listening to them now and start giving them to people and hope that people out the fuckers recognise their fucking faces and start outing them. Right? Because if they want to keep pushing and causing people grief, fuck them. As I spoke about the other night with um, Nathan, I think, that was on, and we discussed about no having this thing getting aggressive and a battle between, you know, two, two sides. Well, people like myself from the very off just went about our own business, minding our own business. These fucking dickweeds had arranged groups to harangue people, get people in and harangue them. They are the ones that are stepping over the fucking line. Right? And if they want to keep setting over the fucking line, they deserve everything that fucking comes to them. They're no clever enough to understand objective reality is not a debate, there is no a, a dichotomy, there is no two opposing sides. It's about science. It's as simple as that. Right? So, trying to point out to people, and I still see people appeasing these fucking absolute tools online. Absolute waste of fucking breath. It's not a debate. These people are here purely to cause emotional distress to the real common people. Right? To fragment you. You need to get smarter. You need to learn to laugh at them. And you need to learn to play them at their own fucking game. Many people have talked about Flat Earth as a PSYOP. You know, I've stated there is PSYOPs going on within it, right? It's the globe that's the PSYOP. It's the globe and all its funding and its access to the personnel. That's the PSYOP part of it. They have many factions involved in this fucking thing, right? Look at what PSYOP means, psychological operation, what they're trying to target. You know, the main one being your emotions. Which is why, from the very off, I ask people, you know, I try to encourage people to remove your emotions from it. You know, we can still display our emotions, but don't let them eat you up inside. Don't let them, you know, when you switch this off and walk away, that should be the last you, you even bother me. If you're walking away from this screen and there's something going on internally, emotionally, you know there's an issue. They have achieved what their fucking, their goal was. Right. The PSYOP is with the globe. The globe is a psyop, it's a cartoon, it's a religious cult, and anybody defending it is a disciple and part of that religious cult. 
Now, these people who continue to do it after this amount of time are now considering criminal minded. Right? They are now actively getting in the fucking way of real people making progress. People have every fucking right to demand to know where they live. People have every right to question the claims that they were born into. And if those claims do not match observable reality, tough fucking titty, right? People are not accepting it anymore. So you better just fucking realise it and go on with it. As I said before, you can even look at it. The claim that they're for science, science, right? They also claim that they realise this is not going away. So why do they keep persisting and fucking playing these games, these manipulative games? Right? And I guarantee you, guys like Timmy Osman and Jim Panda and all these people, they're not fucking clever enough. Like they ain't clever enough to be acting off their own back. They need a team. They are insecure, weak people. They need to click together in teams. They have to be handed a fucking script. It's fucking simple, people. If you're just minding your own business, asking questions about the reality that you're living in, and you're constantly being harassed from it, then that tells you that you're being harassed from a fucking cult, right? There's absolutely no cult involved in the flat earth. There might be some people with culty ideas, but the flat earth certainly ain't no cult. What I see is so many individuals who don't all agree with each other. It's far from a fucking cult. You know, many have tried, let's all be one under one umbrella and, and, and be this big one community. Fuck off! I'm no part of that big one umbrella. I don't want to be involved in any fucking cults. I've just got myself out of one. And so have you. So you should be learning not to fall back into the same methods again, the same mindset. So, from the off, these badger groups, now these accounts claimed um, they were the Bullying Don Club, the Bullying Don Badgers Club. Now, I've said this about, about it before. Um, when I researched them into the Bullying Don Club, it's a fraternity from Oxford. Um, and it's basically what a Clockwork Orange was based on. It's a bunch of fucking sociopathic, narcissistic idiots that go about trashing things and acting fucking as if they're big and brash. They're just fucking wee, stupid, spoiled boys. That's all they are. Right? But it gives you an insight into how they're profiling, who they're profiling, and who's actually involved in this whole fucking mess. Right? Because they have to employ them because they, they want to protect the power that they actually have. The power that they think they have. So, their methods, as I say, they work in groups. And by the way, the same, very same accounts, the very same people are also involved in anti-vaccine, alternative medicine, chemtrails, and this question predominantly. These subjects, right? Because it's fucking obviously observable. People can know vaccine their kids and see that their kids are fucking healthy. People can walk out and see there's shit going on in the fucking sky. People can walk out and see there's no fucking curb, water's level. What are these fucking idiots trying to tell us? Right? So that's why they have such a heavy hand in the personnel involved in these, these subjects. Um, so they set the groups up. They set them up disguised as Flat Earth or any kind of group that's questioning the globe validity. They had a council that looked legitimate, one or two as admins, and once it had filled up to a few thousand people, they come in acting like, oh, we're the badgers and we're taking over, and me, because they like to fucking act as if there's something, they've got some sort of special gifts, and they really know, they were set up in the first place, so that these fucking assholes could come in and just start attacking people to try and emotionally affect you. That's it, That's, this is all they have. All they have is to try and play on your mind to affect your emotions. That's it. They have got fucking nothing. They don't have any control over you. They don't have any say over what you think you believe or, you know, any of your actions. They've got fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. So their game is paper thin. You just have to realise it. So, <coughs> watching the patterns of these groups, 
getting people in and then attacking everybody's post in numbers, right? So people are posting articulate comments, putting an articulate uh, post into whatever group it is, and instantly you'll get 10, 15, 20 accounts on it, right? Now, they've displayed to me because they think they were fucking kind of getting to know me and having a bit of banter. They kind of let slip a wee bit about how many accounts, you know, one in particular actually had. And at the time, it was around about seven or something. I can't actually remember, right? Um, so they're attacking that. They know that anybody new looking at these things, they're just going to see thumbs up, all this activity, and go, oh, oh. And that can sway people, which is why I encouraged anybody involved in this question who's on YouTube, who is genuine, to support each other. Go to each other's comments thread, like the comments, you know, respond to the fucking nonsense. Don't just sit back and let it happen. You have to understand there's a reason why they have a presence on these social media things. They know that it works. They know they can sway people and affect them. The same was true in any other subject, chemtrails, creationism, creationism against evolution, fucking anti-vaccines, they're always there. They have the same fucking method. And as I say, these clowns are no, you know, clever people. They've just got a fucking method that they, they follow, a script, and that's it. The majority of them are, are not even probably invested in it emotionally, but they're causing real genuine people emotional distress, which for me is a fucking issue. Why do you think they have a problem with people like me trying to instill critical thought and logical thinking into people? Because they don't want people responding to things through a logical, critical process. They want people responding on emotional impulse. So the adrenaline goes, the fear, the anxiety goes, and all the blood's rushing and the people can't think properly. So they never fathom any of this stuff out. Get back to that in a minute. Who's here? If you have been the target of any of these types of operations, any of these fucking things that are going on, come on and let's have a wee talk about it. Um, let other people know, share your experience. Right. Oh, I see we've got a few troll accounts. Oh, whistle here, here, Dale is lost with a picture of me in their account. No. Again, they have to hang off the coattails of other individuals, people who actually stand up on their own and speak their own fucking mind because they're weak. They have to hang on to the coattails of everything else because they're so fucking weak and insecure and fucking scared of their own inner being that they'll fucking do anything to avoid it. Right? So I guarantee you, most of these accounts will be fucking Timmy, Jim Panda, Jed, that wee fucking fanny prick for fucking Canada that thinks he's something flat earth Vancouver, BC. What a fucking dipshit. What a complete and utter fucking weak spastic. Every fucking one of these are. These are nothing. I've told you where I'm going to be in the fucking street numerous times. How many have ever shown up? Fucking none. Because you're spineless. You've got fucking nothing to you. Absolutely fuck all. No brave, no spine, no mind. Fuck all. An empty fucking shell. That's all you are. Useless fucking dweeb. I would flush you down the fucking toilet. You're not even worthy of my fucking shit pan. Right? My shite is fucking more valuable. And that's why the majority of them don't show their face, because they're a fucking mess, right? They can't look straight in the fucking camera. They couldn't come one to one and fucking have any eye contact because they've, they've not got any strength to. They would be found out like that. So they hide behind the accounts. And they know it's a psychological operation. Military personnel, these things have been figured out long ago, how you can affect people, what, what tone you use, what wording you use, how to get to them. Right, that's that. They're not even fucking real people. So, whistle here, here, Dell is lost. You're a fucking mom. 
It's not going to weigh. This, you know, I are talking about the your thing with Nathan the other night. When you see this, this is where there is a divide. There is real genuine people who don't want, don't have any malice for anybody else. They're just questioning the reality that they're experiencing, which we have every fucking right to. It should be the most prominent fucking three questions on everybody's mind, and it should they should never let up from it. Because it's that, and focusing on these three questions that will dismantle all this fucking crap. Forgot where I was fucking going there. And again, me displaying this, quite a lot of the time I get into this state deliberately because I want to, you know, get other people into these types of fucking mind frames to not accept the bullshit, to fucking stand up. I've got your fucking corner. Don't think that you're sitting there yourself. And this is the other problem. There is no unity between real people because real people are still caught up with their ego, thinking that this is some sort of fucking pop culture, thinking that you, you know, at the end of the fucking, <coughs> at the end of the race, we're all going to get fucking awards for each other's parts, or we're going to be welcomed into fucking heaven and you get a place there because you helped to bring out the fucking flat earth truth. Get a fucking grip of yourself. Look at the fucking situation you're in. You're a fucking prisoner. A mental and physical fucking prisoner in the reality that you're experiencing right now. You have a fucking enemy. That is fucking plainly obvious. That part. You know, that, that part's the worst for me. These fucking absolute fucking wastes of space clowns don't fucking marry me. Couldn't give a fuck. But see the real genuine people that I still see struggling with their fucking ego? It fucking bothers me, right? Because I know if they just worked a wee bit harder, they could break through it. These fucking morons are fucking helpless. They don't have any strength to work through their own mind. They are just a victim of their own mind. Right? They don't even have a fucking say in what goes on up there. That's how fucking weak they are. But you other people who have managed to get yourself this far by having a look at the world and understanding things, you still need to keep pushing. It's not a fucking pop culture. There's not going to be an awards ceremony at the end yet. God's not waiting to give me two gold stars and you one gold star and him three fucking gold stars. You need to eradicate all that fucking nonsense for your mind. Right? We are fucking captive in a fucking country of situation right now. In case you hadn't noticed. They've been telling you since you were a fucking wee nipper that you lived on a fucking nature-defying sphere pair, endlessly flying through the vacuum of space with no fucking rhyme or reason. They needed to do that to you, to disorientate you, to rob you of your foundation so that you would never find out or ask any serious critical questions. So, we talk about enemies, I have always said it, I don't want to point my finger, I don't want to have a fucking enemy, right? I don't want wars or psychological wars or any of these fucking things. These fucking Muppets keep bringing it to us. They're the ones that are bringing it. They're stepping over the fucking mark, right? So, they've got fucking, the only option they've got is to fuck up, spill the fucking beans and start telling people the truth. If they don't, I'm never going to let up, and there's people like me who will never let up, you know, and if we can keep the numbers growing, eventually it will turn into a fucking war, if these fucking idiots don't learn to fuck off, right, their game's up, they've had their time, they've had their wee bit of fun, milked it for what they can, it's fucking over, and these fucking dickweed trolls, I hope they get outed, because right now, I look at them as a fucking enemy of the common man, they're not the same as me. They're not the same as a man who just wants the best for his family and to look after, you know, people and support them. And to share resources equally and to be transparent. They're not interested in that. They're narcissistic psychopaths. Right? Again, another part of reality that people just don't want to seem to face up to. There is an enemy. If you want to call it an enemy, there's beings who have a certain way about them. 
that will try and perpetuate this. As I said at the beginning, for me, I figured this out long ago. This globe fucking cartoon pish, right? They knew eventually people would figure it out. So they've been fucking drip feeding it. Drip feeding it. They've had their fucking celebrities here from the off, right? Ready and fucking waiting. And we can see that because we've seen the battle for attention over the last two years and why they don't like new people or genuine people just getting established and having, a, you know, people's attentions. That's a fucking problem for them, right? So you need to ask yourself why. For me, they're going to offer a new fucking deception if they can get away with it. I'm determined that's not going to fucking happen. If there's still Muppets like fucking Osman and these fucking Vancouver BCs and Jeds and all these fucking idiots that think, oh, the globe's fucking reality. You need fucking curvature for it to be a fucking globe, you muppets. It's fucking covered in water. It's not a fucking globe. You're in a contained system. Get fucking over it and join the real people. So, I do realise that I've done the usual, and I'm just fucking jumping to one thing, there are no, you know, finishing my, my, my points. But, I don't give a fuck. You know, it's all there for previous, if anybody's interested, I've said it from the fucking off. I suggest you go to the very first videos of mine and listen. Right? And then go and analyse, and then you can come and tell me that I'm wrong. I'm not saying this because, oh, I've got it all figured out. It was my experience. Right? I've seen exactly the methods that they were fucking using and I hammered them back on it. They don't fucking like it. To the point where I had them biting and breaking down and losing the fucking plot. Right? Because I control them much more than they control me ever. Because I'm not fucking smart enough. I have never been a techie computer guy. This is all kind of new to me in the last few years. So when I switch this off, I walk away and I don't give a fuck. I couldn't give a fuck. That's how I can keep coming back and no care. They can make hit piece after hit piece, show me whatever fucking light they see fit. It is never, ever going to affect me. Ever. And when I see them trying to prey on people who maybe are not aware of it, this is not me belittling anybody. Right? But there is people that I see that are being affected by this. That fucking pisses me off because I want to stand in their corner. And again, getting back to it, you need to fucking support each other. If they are employing tactics of hit piece videos and then going into comments and chats and bombarding it and then liking each other's comments, they're doing it for a fucking reason. Right? It's to get to you, the individual, and it's to sway and affect anybody new that's maybe watching or reading through the comments. So you have to make sure you have a presence there. That's why I don't have time to respond to a lot of the comments, but I'll do a live vlog, because then people can hear my response to these fucking Muppets. And if you're having hangouts, you have to be careful about who's getting the link. You have to be careful of who you're handing wrenches to because they have then access to your, your YouTube account. They can fuck with your comment section. On the rest of your videos, in case you're not aware of that, you need to understand that. Like, if Marshall's got a moderator on my channel, he can go into my comment section on the, the YouTube videos and he can delete or he can, you know, mess about with the comments here. So be careful of who you're handing wrenches to. That's why I only give it to people who I know I can trust. So, with Jamie, I heard that it was porn that they put on at the end of it. Will, I think, gets sniped. Um, I'm not sure who else is, you know, receiving any of this stuff. But, you know, again, that's all they have. Think about it and laugh. That's all they have. They're pathetic. Have we still got these fucking Muppets in the chat? Are you there, Marshall? Oh yeah, I'm here. Um, open me people to, I'm getting a hell of a bad feedback. I've openly encouraged people to tag the, the, the uh, troll accounts, dude, so they can just block them before they become an issue. Yeah. Um, what, what I've done, 
when I was on Facebook through the early times, um, and you know, especially once I seen what was starting to happen, screenshot all these fucking activities. Don't be lazy. Don't be apathetic. Screenshot them and save them. Put them in a fucking file. Put them onto a hard drive or a you know a memory stick or whatever it is, and keep it. All right. I have everything saved. I mean, I went through these fucking clowns messaging my daughters, um, taking family pictures, putting them on things like Pornhub. You know, these are fucking Muppets. And they thought I was going to go, no, <laughs> don't do that. I just fucking laughed at them. But save it. Grab everything. And grab it when you're involved in a comment thread with them. And they're still being abusive. Take it home, every bit of it and fucking save it. I've done it to all these fucking clowns here on YouTube. There's fucking clowns that are local to me that have been fucking trolling on there. And I have everything, right? And I will fucking track them down, right? I will fucking find you, you fucking wee knobs. And as I say, they don't have any fucking spine. They know exactly where I'm going to be at certain times. They know that I'm out on the street. When have any of them ever came to us? Never. None of them. That tells you everything. The numerous times that I've encouraged them to have an on-film, face-to-face discussion, none of them have ever taken it. Zero. Gen Pandas, Timmy's, Jed's, they're just fucking weak. They don't have a clue. They're not clever enough to figure this shit out. As I say, people like that, they have been used, and they are being used as some sort of fucking fake resistance. Remember this, people. If you've been lying to people and they're building this good evil fucking thing up, if you've been lying to people, you want to maintain your power and you want to feed them a new set of bollocks, you have to put up some sort of fight. Make it look like there's a fight and a battle, or there's a, there's a faction trying to suppress it, there's a fight, oh, oh, oh. So that when we get there, people are no suspicious of what's offered. It's fucking simple. Well, hey, hey guys. Hi, Will. Hey, hey, Marshall. How's it going, buddy? Well, fair to measure, dude. Thank you, Dell. Boy, you put up a fight there. I love it. <laughs> oh, it just fucking annoys me, mate. You know, it's, you just need to keep telling these fucking idiots. Yeah. You know? That's what I was doing yesterday. I was throwing my hands up in the air. I don't know what was on the end of the video, but I got uh, an email from. Uh, Google telling me that I had made some kind of copyright infringement, but it was my own fault. You know why? Because I sent somebody a, a link that I did not know. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Well, I wouldn't say don't. Well, what I would say to you is, is, you know, announce it to people, you know, at the start of your hangouts, as I have done many times before, or when I know there's a guest coming on that I don't know. What I'll say to people is this could be a troll. Yeah. Um, if they if they snipe the hangout, suggest to people that they turn their volume down. Once they have kicked out the creator of the hangout, they'll have four minutes to fucking waffle their crap or say whatever the fuck it is or put whatever it is they're going to put there, and then it will be automatically shut down because the creator's no involved in it anymore. So I would just you know announce it to your 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 viewers, tell them that's what's going to happen, and encourage them just to put the volume down and not give them any airtime. And then tell them that you fire back up as soon as the person's, you know, that hangout's finished with. Don't, don't, don't lie down to them. Don't get into them. Don't let them affect you. Fuck them. Yeah, huh? it, did, it did affect me because I had a nice, uh, a nice video going. I had uh, dead, um, what's his, I was going to call him Deadpool, um, uh, um, a flat, flat pool, I believe it is. And then Flat Seas is his wife. Um, right. he's, he's up in New Hampshire, and so I trust the guy because he's been on before and talked to me before. He sent me emails, so we were having a great conversation, and uh, we were both kind of watching the chat, and he said to me, somebody said something about sniping. So I went back and looked through the, the, the text, and it said, hope you enjoy your snipe, and it was from one of the people that are on your site right now, which is Cigar Face, which I believe he's got several accounts. He all just right. keeps creating plenty of accounts and yeah. coming in and disrupting the conversation, making all negative comments. I never sent him a link, but yeah. somebody else in the chat, some guy named Frank, which is probably another one of his aliases. 
yeah. sent me a request and said, I'd like to come in and talk. And as soon as I sent that link, within two minutes, I saw this video about uh, some guy with a jar of piss on his desk and, you know, animation going on behind him and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I went and deleted the video. Yeah. Well, they have many accounts, um, and I'm just going to show people something right now. Just bear with me a wee second here. You'll take your time, Bill. <clears throat> right. Gary, if you hear this, mate, I'm going to get that responded to you as soon as I'm finished here. Um, just bear with me a wee second. I'm going to screen share here. I don't think there's anything here that they can see that I sh they shouldn't be seeing. That's fine. Right, I'm going to screen share here for a wee minute. Just, just bear with me. I figure this out. Where is it? Screen share. Application window. Right, can you tell me what you're seeing there, Marshall? I'm seeing your desktop and uh, a Gmail. Right, okay, so we'll go in here. This is from Timmy Osman. Okay. <clears throat> Wait till I just find it. Kettle Logic, by the way, is this clown also calls himself. Go and type in Kettle Logic. Take Kettle Logic into your fucking Google right now and see what it says. So I'm trying to find one of the last ones that he sent me. This one right here. Ah, was just saying I get banned for no reason in chat. Was going to see if I could be unbanned, but really it doesn't matter. I don't need to come over there. Really, I just wanted to be able to join on my main account to say, hey, when are you alive? We have pretty much gotten as far as we can with each other, as far as the shape of the earth, really. I'm bored of the subject, blah, 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 blah. Is this the one where he says about the thousands of accounts? No, hold on a minute. It's this one here. Hey, unfortunately for myself, I get banned for no reason on your channel. I'm at the point and came in and had a message for you saying, can't we be, can't we get better flat earthers on? Question mark. Because Timmy thinks it's a fucking, you know, a Saturday night fucking live. That's how fucking delusional this muppet is. And I was banned. People don't care when they have a wrench what you want for your channel. If you don't want me in the chat, that is one thing. But being banned on my main accounts... Just trying to, to come say hey is pretty silly. I could send about 1,000 troll accounts over to wreck your chat like we did yesterday to some drunk loopy flat earth bimbo after I said hi. But I have more respect for you than that. Anyway, let me know if I can come back. Guess I would rather try and converse my main accounts instead of socks, thanks. No, Timmy, you can fuck off. Nobody's interested in you. You're a fucking moron. You sniped my hangouts before. You acted like a li little fucking insecure criminal prick. Right? I play you, son. You mean fuck off to me. I'll just highlight that uh, one of the current trolls also used that phrase, I have a thousand accounts. Yeah. Um, so, Timmy, seriously, boy, fucking grow up. Right. So it's not just him, right? I'm not just singling out him. There is many of them that have this access to these things and create account after account after account. Now, when we talk about cult behaviour, that they are the epitome. Of, these clowns are the fucking poster that the catalog fucking kids, you know, for that behaviour, right? That is a cult behaviour. We are just people going about our business, asking questions about the world we live in, and they think that they have the right to come and badger and harang people. So, where's the psyop? You know, who is the cult? It's the fucking globe and the people who are acting for it. So, I hope everybody read that and seen it. Yeah, you know, they were telling me, uh, they were, I, I noticed in the chat, they were telling me, uh, hey, could you give us a wrench? You know, because I don't know all this terminology. I am a, I am a techie, but I'm not a person that's into the social media thing. This is my first dive into it. 
And uh, to see human beings acting this way towards each other is just, I mean, even the comments, like you said, I think you said yesterday when you were talking to Lisa, somebody said in there, kill yourself. I've, I've had that before. They told me that um, in, in one of my earlier broadcasts. So, uh, you know, I don't pay any attention to that, but when you get bombarded with it, it does yeah. take a little bit of an emotional toll on you and it's hard to shake it off. So I guess yeah. I just need to find myself a fatty and just forget about it, you know, just, yeah. you know, because I they, I mean, should, should I ever turn, should anybody ever turn over control or a wrench or whatever that's supposed to be to somebody else? I never thought of doing that. I would never do that. Well, that's the thing. Uh, well, um, you know, if, if there's new people who are watching and they're, in, they're looking at your chat box and you have these filthy fucking scummy pricks spamming it with nonsense, you know, it could, could have an effect on people. So it, has, it can be good to have people with wrenches there that you trust. You know, if I'm on here speaking to you right now, my, my attention's here, you know, and having a discussion. I, I couldn't have the attention on the chat to see what was going on. So Marshall and Magumba and Jonah Worms, they, you know, they're there to make sure there's nobody you know, sparring any nonsense in there, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, that's why originally when I started this, I wasn't focusing a lot on the chat. You know, I was, I would occasionally, like you do, just look over and maybe read through one or two of the comments. But if, if I was talking to somebody, I would, I was really wanting to concentrate on what they were trying to share with me and share with the people that were watching. Yeah. N not, not look at chat, not uh, look at all these fucking awful comments and, like you said, these guys are fucking idiots. They, they're yeah. just, they got nothing better to do with their time. I said it several times on my broadcast yesterday. Listen, if you don't like it here, switch off the channel. Go to another place, you know. Go off and visit some other other person, you know. But, but well, you know, I'll be honest. You know, I have done, a, you know, my own trolling in the past. And it's, you know, just having fun, you know, nonsense or, you know, getting people to bite and that could last for like two weeks maximum right but see see when it gets two years two and a half years of 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year we're well, not talking about just people in their bedrooms you know doing a bit of trolling we're talking about organization that is there deliberately you know acting out what they're supposed to act to you know that's where the PSYOP is. It lies with the fucking globe and its antics. These people are not, you can't just, people are keep, you know, this apathy of thinking that, oh, the world's just all people and, you know, there is no CIA, there is no shadow organisations that, oh, no, there's none of that. You know, there is, that is going on. Right? And as I keep saying to people, they're not going to come up going, oh, you double O shiver, you know, mish money, penny, you know, fucking driving a fucking Aston Martin. You know, that's not how it works. <laughs> if you need personnel, and if you want personnel that you don't want to fund, then you start targeting the fucking vagrants. You start targeting those narcissistic, psychopathic minds who you know are going to be up to no good and who you know do not want to be exposed or put in the public eye for any of their fucking vile, heinous, fucking hideous crimes. Right? So you target them, you profile them, you get them on board, you say, here, fuck up, you will sit at your fucking computer like a little fucking bitch, and you will read this script and fucking print it when you're told, or you'll be going to fucking jail, or we will expose you in the fucking mainstream media and in public. Right? That's how fucking weak they are. That's what the methods that they're using. There will be people on a payroll, those are the ones who you see, with the Mick West and stuff, who put their fucking face out there in public. Right, they will be on a, a payroll. They will be doing it after them back. These other fucking dipshits that are here on the YouTube thing, they're not good enough for that. These are fucking, you know, the lowest of the low criminals, right? That have to be doing this or else. So they are lackeys, they are bitches, they are lick spittle. You know, and I'm sorry for ranting, mate, but th this is the thing. You know that and I'm not saying you're being apathetic, but people do really need to realise the situation we are actually in. That the situation is, is that you're captive, right, and that you have a definite enemy because they've been trying to perpetuate and push this shit onto you, countless other generations, and your fucking children. So, 
And do you think they're just going to, oh, willy nilly, just relinquish it all? Do, you know, the religions, they never relinquish control in the fucking first place. The new people were getting smart to their fucking god in the sky bollocks. Right? The new people were starting to get logical and critical and using natural signs where well, they wanted to start, you know, exploring the actual world they were living in. The new people would start to advance. People would discover and make technologies, boats, fucking planes, cars, whatever it is. The religious, the control, I'm not going to say religions, I'm just going to talk about this group, these fucking minds who want to control. They realise people are getting smart, so they have to move with the times. So what do they do? Right, we'll hijack logic, reasoning, all this stuff, natural science, and we'll fucking twist it, reverse it, and shaft them up their ass with it. And that's exactly what they've done and created this fucking globe heliocentric crap where you know so they're not just gonna you know all of a sudden be relinquishing control no they know that time's happening again people are new questioning again people are starting to wake up again what's the next shit gonna be that they offer us that's what we need to be careful of yeah i'm wondering what their next tactic is to put a lot of people back to sleep again well you know. it may be resorting back to the power structure that was before. Oh, the religious institutions were right. So therefore, we need to work this out and unite under one kind of religion. And, and, and you know, and that's it. That's already started. I know that world religion thing is going around a lot of places here in the United States. One world religion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was, you know, touted for years. One world currency, one bank, one religion, one government, you know? So yeah. you, People can see how they're implementing all these other things, but when it comes to this, you go, well, how are they going to implement a one religion? People think, oh, Project Bluebeam, they're going to put polygrams in the fucking sky. No, 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 no. No, Project Bluebeam's been. They put a fucking hologram in your mind. They made you think you live on a nature-defying sphere pair. I wonder if they're doing that with the electronics, because I tell you, I, I occasionally ride the local train here, which is the Sunrail in Central Florida, and when I get on that train with my bicycle, every literally everybody on that fucking train has got a cell phone in their hand that they're staring at. They're like, I mean, if you look at them objectively, they look like a bunch of, of robots, all 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 doing the same thing. Yeah. And and I I, I am no part of that. You know, I've already told you before. I gave up my television eleven plus years ago have no interest in it. I have some things that I, I have my own movie collection. I have some things I still look at. I even watch sci-fi, but it's really just for entertainment. It's not because, you know, um, I believe that bullshit because I don't believe that bullshit anymore. So. But it's not even the electrical devices. It's the ideas in people's brains. It's not these, you know, we, you, me and you have got electrical devices. Marshall, everybody here uses phones. Yeah. It's not that the phones are somehow, you know, not allowing them to think. You know, you know what happened to us then? You know, yeah. um, it's the ideas that are in people's that are in people's minds that's a problem. Yeah. You know. No, what I think I was trying to say was like you know, like you say, you were all using technology, but everybody knows where the cutoff point is with it. You should everybody should uh, be a you know a thinker and know that there's a certain point when you stop doing that. Now I've been on I've been on many channels and many places on YouTube in the past five years. Well, actually, more than that, but. I got to tell you, I have never commented. I have never trolled anybody. I never even knew what, the, I mean, I know what a troll is in, in ancient history, but I have never heard that expression used before since I heard it here in other places. I, I've never done that. I've never even commented on anyone else's page. You're probably yeah. one of the few people, I, there's probably three of them, that I ever commented or said anything because I can tell real people and yeah. I, can, I can tell liars. Yep. And that incident that happened to me yesterday is not in my best ability ever going to happen again. Good. Well, that's what, and don't, you know, that, that's the main point. I mean, just keep coming back at them and just fucking laugh and totally ignore them. Yep. Brush them off like they don't fucking exist. Yeah. And let that eat them up. You know, because they're fucking useless. The only power that they think a buzz that they're getting is if they think they're getting to you. Yeah. That's it. If you can recognize that and everybody else can recognize it, laugh at it, turn that run on them, start having fun with it, play them, and at the same time support each other, you know, which is what I'm trying to do. You know, address it. I'm hearing it from yourself. I've seen it with Jamie Brown. There's been a few other people. 
that have commented on these types of things. And we're all very well aware of the manipulation of the figures on YouTube, you know, the hangouts, people don't have an access to it. You know, so if anybody's in doubts about what's actually going on, then I don't know what else to say to you. People really need to realise the fucking gig here. You know, and as I keep saying, they keep throwing this cult, flat earth cult, 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 cult. They're the only cult. The globe is the cult. You know, and their antics are proving it over and over again. You know, normal people, people who are balanced and rational and secure within themselves, have the ability to just live and let live. Oh, that guy over there, you know, he wants to marry his horse. <laughs> fucking carry on, my man. Knock yourself out. Don't come out here trying to tell me I should fucking marry my horse, though. Right? Yeah. So, there's a, there's a difference with people. As we're balanced, we know how to behave, you know, and put ourselves out there. These clowns don't. There's something missing. Right? And when I see that behaviour, that should be telling everybody what a cult is and who the cult members actually are. Through their behaviour, through their walk. And again, I keep coming back to it. It's about natural science. You know? But using your critical thought, your logic, your reasoning, your senses to assess the world you're living in. Right? As soon as we get into ad hominems, trying to emotionally sway people with argumentation, calling it a fucking debate, and I don't care who it is, if they're calling it a debate, there's something missing with them. You know? So why should it ever be personal? It should never be personal. This subject is not about the, the, the you know, your subjective, my subjective experience. This is about what the objective reality actually is. So when you understand that, you should be able to see all these other games that are going on around about it. You know, because the most important thing is there's no, no proof for a globe. There's absolutely zero curvature. We have a measuring tool called water that tells us beyond any shadow of a doubt that we're in some sort of contained system. We're in a pressurized system, which tells you also that it must be contained. How do we know that? Because we go to natural science and we go, how do we create pressure? How do we maintain pressure? What can we do with water? Oh, it has to be contained. End of story. You know? I've digressed. Sorry, Will. No, you're good. It's okay. I like your ranting. I like your I like your, your anger. <laughs> I mean I definitely like your vulgarity. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it all. <laughs> I saw this Nambi Pambi fucking bollocks. You know, oh, don't get angry, don't get passionate, don't swear, don't, as I said the other night, if you listen to these fucking morons, you would be a mess. You would never know what you were doing from one minute to the next because you could never please any of these people. You know? Yeah. Don't swear, be polite. So, you know, let's all talk posh. I mean, does that, does that, now that we're talking posh, does that produce measurable curvature? Does that, does that produce, you know, proof of a fucking globe? No, it doesn't. <laughs> You know, but that's what they constantly try and use. That's what I try to point at people. Look at the people who are playing against personalities, whether they're, you know, they're saying the flat earthers are globals, whatever. Look at them in the games they're playing, the dramas that they're creating. Right? It's always about focusing on the people, you know, and their opinions. You know, as I keep saying, reality doesn't give a fuck about Andy's opinion. There is no perfect human being, so opinions matter not a fucking jot. You know? Personalities mean it. Fuck all. <laughs> yeah, that personality thing really gets in the way with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They think, you know, that the personality somehow, you know, adds weight to something being true. You know, it's, it shows you how fucking delusional people are. Well, hey, I, I, I'm going to back out of here on a very positive note. Uh, I don't know if, like I said, tomorrow will be a great day or whatever, but to, uh, tomorrow I am putting on my double sign. It's going to be a walking sign. I'm going to have my music on, and I'm going down to the Orlando Science Center because yeah. they're, they're busing in um, five or six busloads of kids every day and teaching them this crap. So, yeah, you, you know, I don't have any intention of talking to young children, but I do have an intention of talking to some adults and passing out some cards and letting the children see the sign and let yeah. that thought go in their head because they probably have already had that thought. I've had that thought. I had that yeah. thought when I was a kid. Yeah. Good on you, mate. We've got two days of weather and I've got two days planned of the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, we'll be going to the beaches and we'll be setting up apparatus to show people when any of the fucking trolls out there are welcome to come and observe exactly what we're all observing 
and seeing absolutely zero fucking coverage or anywhere where we've got two six feet fucking um, spirit levels up showing a span of across at least 40 50 miles and there's a fucking a zero curvature so just like plain ranger has done as well which was a great video i watched this morning we're going to be setting that up as well as some other props and stuff to show people and teach people and educate them what real physics is what real science is so good for you all that's exactly what you, what, what, what's needed and that was what i done you know and, and, and other people done as well they were trying to contain this with online and they had their wee personalities all set up thinking they had it all sewn up and then you had real people going fuck you let's get out into the street and keep encouraging that because it's not going to happen on here nothing's going to happen on here the only thing we can use this for is to network with each other and share information as far as getting it to move forward you need to be out there hitting the streets right yep I That's agree. <laughs> just i'm gonna mute my phone there hey but um yeah see like what you're doing right now this i mean because i started to watch you almost i think i missed about a minute which i'll probably go back and watch because i can't miss a minute of the king <laughs> <laughs> go on <laughs> I had to, I had to do that. I had to make you smile. Hey, anyway, listen. Thanks for keep going. You know, keep on on your path. I certainly am going to do the same, and I'm going to probably see if I can get somebody to video me while I walk around with my sign on, a little bit for me. Um, but uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some of that. I'm assuming you're going to put some of that experimental stuff that you're going to oh, do. I've been doing it plenty of it this week, okay. man. Great. Right. You know? I'm sure none of your buddies, those trolls, are going to show up to to be unconvinced of their lie. But hey, you know, no, they don't have a clue. No, yeah, they probably don't even care. Yeah. As I say, they probably just have to fulfil these roles, or else, and yeah. that's as far as it goes. They'll not even or be. Else. They're, they're being. They'll not even be invested in it. You know, they're just hefty. It's like a task for them. Yep. Yeah. You know? Thanks but, for your time, Dale. No, I appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah. I I, uh, I I feel I felt you shouting out to me, so I had to come in and and, uh, uh, and don't let them get don't let them get to you, man. You know, I won't do it. Good. Thanks, Dell. Thanks, thank you, Mar thank you, Marshall. You guys take care of yourselves. Nice one, Bill. See you later, man. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, guys. Yeah. So I've got somebody in the chat asking if uh, you're going to be wearing the budgies to the beach, mate. The weather's fucking good enough, I might. <laughs> I don't have a budgies, but I'll roll my shorts right up. <laughs> well, I'll have to do for this time, then, man. Uh, listen, I've got, I've got Bro Sanchez who wants to come in and chat about uh, the trouble he's had with the trolling of his channel. Cool. Yeah. Hey, props. Um, and that's bollocks. Oh, Dale's angry. Dale's passionate. Dale's swearing. Fucking Dale's Dale. Dale's fucking strong. Dale knows his fucking mind, and these weak fucking clowns know it. Right, Dell's no going anywhere. Dell's never going to give up because Dell's wholly committed to it. Because there is nothing else on my fucking mind. My whole being is focused on where the fuck am I? What the fuck is going on? Right, no delusions. Nothing is going to distract me from it. Nothing. And that should be everybody out there's fucking attitude. Hey man, Bro Sanchez here, man. I've been doing some some research on Rahu and Katu, nigga. I got some of that good shit here. I gotta smoke it because Morgan is gonna really uh, be upset when he figures out that his conspiracy about my uh, not smoking weed is <laughs> absolutely untrue, guys. Hi, this is actually Timothy Osman Radio. Um, I told Dell that I wasn't going to um, come and disturb him at any more points, but I think that this. Uh, kind of waves that whole right of his for me not to come on, truthfully, because, oh, and don't touch that dial, okay, because you, you know you're in a cult when the guy says to t turn down the volume when somebody with an opposing idea comes on, okay, guys, and we'll see if he keeps his video up, because, you know, that rant that he just had, that whole gish gallop fest, I really want to get that on a video. Seriously, so if anybody can, please do record this madness. Um, but in the meantime, I do need to hit this bowl, guys, and show you proof that I'm smoking marijuana and possibly even, um, you know, maybe 
uh, may make sure that you guys know that I'm inhaling it. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to fucking Bill Clinton you dude. All right. All right. So just hold with me real quick guys. All right. So this is rock cam. Welcome to rock cam. Oh, that's a good rock cam. All right. So this strain is actually, <clears throat> Wow, uh, it's called the Mob Boss. You know what I'm saying? And I am the Mob Boss. It's quite fitting. It's a <coughs> very heavy indica, or uh, sativa rather. I just had a heavy indica and it was not so good. But anyway, back to Tell's madness, guys. Uh, this guy is just about as hypocritical and nonsensical as any person on this planet. And it is a planet if you were kind of questioning this. It is not a plain in the least bit. So just kind of cut that whole thing out. But anyway, I really hope that he keeps this video up, like I said, because I would like to make a reactionary video to that whole Gishgal obsession that we just had, guys. Because seriously, though, seriously, I mean, you can go look at the Timothy Osman live channel and you can see that, you know, the last chat that we had was good and it was cordial and we ended it good. But for some reason, he has misdirected hostility towards yours truly. Now, that is Timothy Osman and nobody else. Don't get it fucking twisted. All right. Let me, let me light this up real quick. Anyway, guys, I got to mostly came on to show Dell what real weed is. Like I said, it's about some 23% mob boss. And I could go on and on about how wrong he is or whatever, but I'll save that for the video. So I'll just kind of, since I have like 300 people and some of them with the, the volume turned down or whatever, at least they can see what's going on at this point in time in this juncture. Um, people do like to blame me for things that I don't do uh, just because I am labeled a troll by the flat earth uh, trolls. I mean... <laughs> The flat earth hypocrite, fucking sophism, psyop, Trojan horse, meme trolls, dude. You know what I'm saying? All of you, all of you in the chat are trolls. If you can't come on to a debate show and have any cogent arguments at all, you're just, you're numpty. As a uh, old boy, Dell would put it, dogmatic Dell. Anyway, Dell, you, you really need to learn what you're doing. And um, you broke my trust in that you continue to talk about shit about me for about 30, 45 minutes or whatever. So I am smarter than you. Um, I am greater than you in most every way. And I am more knowledgeable about our reality than you ever will be. Okay? So I'm a good person to come talk to. All right, guys. My name is Tim Osman. And this has been another public service announcement. Peace, nigga!